is the business we are in at LSU, providing a world-class experience for our student athletes to compete and earn their degrees. Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Emily Dixon, and it's time for another episode of Inside LSU Sports presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. From the hardwood to the gym floor, the PMAC has kicked into overdrive. And with the retirement of DD Bro, Jay Clark officially got win number one as the head coach of LSU Gymnastics in a thriller to open up the 2021 season. We start off this week's episode with Mike Smith and head coach Jay Clark recapping that win over Arkansas, which ended in a perfect night at the PMAC. Inside LSU Sports, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Ross's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by Williamson Cosmetic Center and Paranac Aesthetic Surgery where you'll always place first with us. Welcome back to Inside LSU Sports. I'm Mike Smith in the LSU Gymnastics Training Center along with LSU Head Gymnastics Coach Jay Clark. Jay, Friday night, your head coaching debut for the Fighting Tigers, and it was a big win for the Tigers in front of a tremendous crowd, socially distanced, of course, in the Maravich Center, but a fun time was had by all. We'll get to the, the closing excitement in just a minute, but your reflection on your first effort as a head coach here well, at LSU. Well, it, it was, it was gut-wrenching. To be honest with you, it was it was we we gave away a lot of things and kids were tight. Kids were a little nervous. They know that there's a lot of expectation on them, and as much as we you know talked them down from that, um, you could kind of see that there were going to be some jitters in this first meet. And um, but I was just so proud of the fight and the way that they were able to continue to go all the way through the meet, even when we went to the final rotation behind and and uh, gut it out and, um, and do some great things for us there at the end. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm glad we got the win. We certainly left enough, left some points out there that we've got to get rectified, but a win's a win, and it's, uh, it's good, good to get a good start here at home. And get in front of some fans for the first time, it just seems so, like so long since the last time we were able to do that. I think 315 days, but who's counting? Yeah. But, uh, you know, Jay, a senior in Sarah Edwards made her return mm -hmm. to the Tigers lineup after a devastating injury a mm -hmm. year ago, fought, 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 got back in shape, has returned. Her vault tonight, right when you needed mm -hmm. it, was superb. Yeah. You know, Sarah Edwards is just a great story. I mean, she has, uh, you know, to come here, get discovered at our camp, come here as a walk-on, earn a scholarship, and just work herself into a situation where she's, she's a mainstay for us on those leg events. And, uh, you know, not having her last year really, really hurt when she went down. So. Having her back and having the stability of a senior like that is just a great thing. Then you follow with freshman of the year from a year ago and then a yeah. freshman who's now officially a budding star uh, on this campus here at LSU. Talking about Kaya Johnson mm. and Haley Bryant on vaulting. Yeah, well, we, with Kaya, we just hold him back. She's going to do the double full uh, at some point, probably another week or two. She trains it every day. We're just... We put her on a little different training regimen than everybody else this year to try to protect her health a little bit. Um, you know, she's got some uh, the tendency for her Achilles to get sore and those kinds of things. So we just really trying to start easy with her. And then, you know, uh, once you put Haley back there at the end, uh, really the reason we did that was to give Kai a little more time to get ready for bars. So um, we move her down to fifth and, and Haley will be the be the anchor for us, which is unusual for a freshman, but she uh, she's got the ball to do it. That height off, off yeah, the horse. I, I, folks, if you didn't see it, check out the replays. You just saw one. 
just go back and look at it again. Yeah. Unbelievable effort right there. Jay, you go to the uneven bars. It's a tight meet yeah. against Arkansas, and, and you know that you've got to get your team focused. Uh, you're looking, I'm sure, handstands and landings yeah. in body positions. Yeah, I thought our landings were good over the over the for the most part. I don't know how many we we stuck uh, three or four uh, of the six. We were short on some handstands and little things here and there, but. Uh, overall, I thought the bar rotation maybe was our best executed rotation of the night um, of all four events. Sammy Durante right yeah. there with the 9-9 score. Uh, marvelous. Again, another senior who yeah. steps up yeah. uh, in, a, in a very pivotal role. Flipping around a balance beam, and that's the time when, uh, you, you if, in, at least from my view, you catch your breath for the first yeah. time in the meet, and right. you've got to settle in for something that's such a cerebral event. Yeah, it is, and that's where that's where we really started seeing the jitters start to show up, and they showed up in unusual spots from seniors and, and uh, kids with great levels of experience. And, um, you know, I, overall, I was, I, was, I was fine with it. You know, I expected there to be something that, that went that way. I just didn't think it would be quite to that magnitude. Um, but the main thing is they fought through it. Um, we know that we're a great beam team. We have five of the six returners from last year's beam, mm -hmm. beam set. And, so, and there's 14 bodies moving on that event right now. So we've got plenty of depth and it's competitive. Reagan Campbell in the, in the anchor spot there. She looked like she was ready to go, just almost mid-season form when she was up there. Just did a marvelous job for her to close it out. She did, and, and that's what you want from that number six person. And I've said it when we signed Reagan Campbell, I thought one day that kid could be the NCAA champion on balance beam. And she moves at a, at a, in a, with a flow and a, and a rhythm through balance beam that's unusual. It's a lost art. You don't see it that often anymore. A kid that works balance beam on toe that way and, and does things. It's, it, to me, it's the most beautiful beam set in the country, and, and, uh, and I, I would argue that with anybody. So you wrap up the balance beam. Again, the Tigers find themselves behind by just a smidge. Uh, up on the scoreboard, Jay, but you got to get them refocused. I saw you take the team before mm -hmm. floor, yeah. and you pulled everybody together. Give us some insight on what you said. Well, I just, I just let them know. I said, guys, look, you know, you, you let them back in it, and uh, we knew that we didn't, we weren't going to be perfect tonight. But let's not get focused on, on what we just did. We got to finish strong, and, and we knew floor was a strong event for us, and, and I just challenged them to kind of right the ship and get over there and, and execute the way that they do day in and day out. And, you know, Sarah Edwards, again, in that number two spot as the senior, just did an amazing job there, I thought, to kind of level set the line up a little yeah. bit and keep pushing and pushing. But, of course, when you get to Haley Bryant, the lights are on big and bright for that freshman yeah. from North Carolina. And uh, the superb 9975 effort. Walk us through that routine, Jay, and why it's so special. Well, you know, with Haley, she has obviously, it's been obvious to us, and we've had conversations about, you know, some some noise in her head about the expectations, uh, you know, so such high expectations as being labeled the number one recruit in the country and this, that, and the other. And so what we wanted to do was just not put her in the all around, let her dip her toe into this college gymnastics thing. And, and, uh, and it's a different mental approach when you're only doing three. She's easily could make our beam lineup too and, and will. Um, but we wanted to give her three events and let her settle in. And, and that was one of the things that went exactly as we planned tonight was that giving Haley three events and letting her get custom, get accustomed to it and settle in, and she did a great job on all three events. And of course, that 9975, from a judge's perspective, mm -hmm. when you bring in up an anchor, mm -hmm. uh, a young lady in Kaya Johnson who has a tendency to go 10-0 from yeah. a year ago, as yeah. we saw plenty of times, yeah. she brought an amazing effort here in week one that I think is going to set the country on the bus. Yeah, well, this freshman class, in general has given not to only Kaya, but everybody a little a little more padding, a little more buffer, a little more setup that's in a little more comfortable. We're not gonna have to ride the same horse all every week, week in and week out and setting Kaya up. Look, when you go 9975 ahead of it and then she does that, there's nowhere to go. And and uh, that's that's why you'll hear me say more times than not that every great team has to have a great one two punch and and I'm pretty, pretty excited about what these two are to go do. Well, we are as well, Jay. Women's Hospital again this year with our exceptional performers, plural, 
of the meet in week one. How about Haley Bryant, freshman from North Carolina, and Kaya Johnson from Dallas, Texas. Just an amazing effort by those two. They are our exceptional performers of the week. Jay, congratulations on a Thank big you. win. Thank you, Before Mike. we let you go, we got to look ahead. We've got Arkansas again, and yeah. this one will be an SEC counting meet mm -hmm. at their place. Yeah, and it, it uh, they'll be they'll be ready to go because uh, they were prepared well. I think Jordan and Chris did a great job getting their team prepared to start the season. Uh, they're hungry to beat us. Uh, that's obvious and. Uh, and it's great. It's great that there's that they have that sense of rivalry and intensity. And so we know that they're going to bring their best, and we've got to be better than we were tonight if we're going to go to their place and beat them. So um, you know, it'll be a, it'll be a good meet. And this one's this one's for one that counts. Jay, congratulations. One and zero as a head coach here for LSU. Uh, obviously, no stranger to this town and no stranger yeah. to this campus, but. In your first head uh, coaching job there in the PMAC, well done, sir. Well thank you, done. sir. I appreciate that. Go Tigers. Absolutely, and thank you. We'll be right back after this quick timeout inside LSU Sports. Haley just had done an amazing floor routine, um, and so I knew I had to do well to follow her, and I knew the score was tight, but I was trying to just focus on me. We needed it. We didn't start how we wanted to, and we knew we had to finish strong, and that's what we tried to do. Um, I think we learned that we can fight to the end, so I feel like we're going to take that into every meet and just fight like Tigers. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer. Forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Drive the 2020 F-150 with 5,500 cash back. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. To the people stepping up in the face of an unprecedented challenge, thank you for everything you're doing to serve our communities and keep us safe. To the people of Hancock Whitney, thanks for being the ones our clients can count on. Because even though it feels like everything has changed right now, it's reassuring to see that some things haven't. We'll get through this the same way we always do, together. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by T.J. Rips, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Welcome back Inside LSU Sports along with head coach Jay Clark. I'm Mike Smith. Jay, you know, you uh, have always tried to bring your alumni back yeah. in to, to the programs that you've yeah. always been associated mm -hmm. with. And it's no different with McKenna Kelly, an yeah. LSU great, loved by Tiger fans mm -hmm. near and That's far, cool. back in the program to help you out. Yeah. we. 
You know, whenever you can find a, a niche that's in the program that's kind of consistent with what one of your alum is pursuing or would like to pursue and can get them a little more exposure, you want to do that. And McKenna Kelly's personality and, and the energy that she brought to our program during the four years here is un, it's just un, unmatched. And um, so it just seemed like a seemed like a no-brainer if we could get her back here to kind of help us with updating some of our our content and those kinds of things. Get her get her some camera time and and uh, that family has been special to us uh, since the day we signed her. So uh, we love McKenna and glad to have her involved in any capacity we can get her in. And I think you'll enjoy this nice sit-down interview that McKenna has with another very important part of the Tiger team from the academic advising standpoint. You are the academic advisor specifically for gymnastics. Yes. How do you help the girls balance, you know, juggle the student portion of being a student athlete? What is it that you do? Meet with the students, try to help figure out what major are you interested in, what do you want to do with your life, what are you interested in? Right. Um, so talk to them about that, make sure their course schedule works with practice times, make sure everything's working towards a major. So student comes in and they say, hey, I really want to be communication studies. I show them, hey, here's the degree audit, here's the plan, here's when you need to take these courses, here's where you have some elective room, where are some things you want to take in that area, where are some minors you might be able to do with that major, um, here's some foreign languages you need to take. So really kind of getting a feel for them, see where they're interested, if they're not sure what they want to do, hey, no problem, let's figure it out. I remember being a student athlete and looking at the older girls like the juniors and seniors and oh my gosh they have it all figured out they have all their classes they know exactly what they're gonna major in all of this they know how to study and I was so stressed I would try what they were doing and it wouldn't work for me so I think it's super important that the athletes know when they come in that hey this might not work for me and that's okay but this does so figuring out how they can be their best student in the student athlete word of that exactly. um, and working with you guys too I know that was super helpful for me um, I'd come to you guys if, if I had a really bad grade or if I didn't know how to study or if something was due and I forgot and you guys were always there to help um, and help us calm down too. You guys knew we were student athletes but you knew we were people too and I think that you guys took really good care of us and that's actually one of the reasons why I committed to LSU is I really felt the family aspect of, of you guys and the staff in general um, and that made me feel really taken care of. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we really want to work on just the student athlete, as you said, as a whole. So we work with the life skills program, um, just doing different community service, different events, um, student athlete advisory committee to get some, um, just kind of like learn more about the yeah. behind the scenes and work with the NCAA on different things. Um, but we really do want to see the students happy and succeed and work towards graduation or anything they might be interested in later on. So even if it's like, hey, come stop by my office, you're right. not in trouble. It's <laughs> How are you doing? Make How's sure you clarify that part. Yes. Oh my gosh. Trouble, I promise it's promise. okay. It's your grades are fine. At the end of the day, student comes before student athlete, right? Mm -hmm. It's you're the student part. Um, and life goes on and you're left with your education. You know, once you leave LSU with that degree, that's what you take with you is that education portion. So I know from experience that they really care and you guys do a great job of working together and staying on the same page of academics matter. And if we have to do what we have to do, you've got to get the good grades, especially to perform. You have to have the grades exactly. to perform, and I think you guys do a fabulous job of doing that. Um, I can speak from experience. <laughs> we always say our national championship is seeing people walk across that stage with their graduation gowns on, holding their diploma. Yeah. That's always really exciting for us, um, just because, again, it's such a momentous occasion that we want to help students see and it again meet any goals that they might have for themselves so if it's hey I need help with my resume because maybe applying to a job or I'm working towards a grad program or some things I can do so seeing students be successful in those things are really important to us. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach the Bud Light lemonades? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, Whenever packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed, our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. 
video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer. Forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Drive the 2020 F-150 with 5,500 cash back. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. LSU Gymnastics is clearly in good hands, and the same can be said for Palmineri's baseball team. You've heard the name Eddie Smith, but his debut on the Tigers staff was cut short in 2020 after the NCAA shut down play less than 20 games into the season. Smith is tasked with coaching the Tigers at the plate, and he takes us behind LSU's state-of-the-art hitting facility. What's going on? I'm Eddie Smith. I'm the hitting coach at LSU. I'm here to show you the Marucci Performance Center's batting cages today. So the first thing our players do when they come in every day is they read the board. We'll have messages about what they're going to do for that day in the cages. In here we have our hitting lab and what it does is it takes virtual reality and gives our players a chance to see pitchers that they're going to face on a given day through the lenses of a virtual reality machine. As you come over here, we have video display board and we've got the ability to put video. It's also something that we'll use this hit tracks machine for. Gives our guys a chance to make it look like they're hitting at Alex Box Stadium and see the ball on the video monitor as it would travel as if it were at the stadium that's right out the doors here. We got a great mural on this wall here just really brings out the excitement of game day and the experience at Alex Box Stadium. So in our batting cage facility here, we have three separate hitting tunnels and it allows us to have multiple players in here at the same time for their development. It allows us to have different drills going on in each cage so that space is never an issue. There's always machines available for our players. There's always screens available for our players. And we've got a great staff of student managers that are always in here facilitating these drills with throwing batting practice, feeding the machines, and whatever else our players might need. So each of our cages are outfitted with a triple play machine. And this machine has really taken over the game of baseball. And we really want to promote the idea of our players hitting the ball hard. And so all three of our cages in here are outfitted with a velocity display board at the back of the cage. Those display boards will light up when the ball is batted, telling the player what their exit velocity was on a given pitch. Also on the back wall here, you'll see there's a yellow line. That yellow line is at about 11 degrees of a launch angle. So that is the highest batting average in college baseball for a launch angle. So the Pitching Development Center, it's equipped with Rapsodo, Edgetronic cameras, and all the cutting edge technology for the pitching development piece.
cake, mi amor. Mm -hmm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. With no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... It's looking kind of chilly out today. What am I gonna wear? I think I'll go with a cardigan. Yep, even easier than that. And with a top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot, even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Academy Sports and Outdoors. With curbside pickup, it's never been easier to shop in store or online at academy.com. LSU volleyball team is preparing for an unusual spring season after finishing three and three in matches during the fall. Fran Flory and the Tigers hit the court on January 29th against Missouri as SEC play opens back up, so be sure to tune in. As always, you can go to LSUsports.net for all the latest and updated schedules because it's another busy week around LSU sports. Thanks again for tuning in to this edition of Inside LSU Sports presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. I'm Emily Dixon, and we'll see you right back here next week. Providing a world-class experience for our student athletes to compete and earn their degrees.